All right, the last time we had a warmer than normal day was back on July 27th when the high was 91. That's until today. Today's high at Windsor Locks at Bradley International Airport, 90 degrees. A big change from the 70s that we had across much of the uh, state yesterday. In Hartford, it came pretty close to 90 with a high of 89 reported so far. And many locations were in the mid and upper 80s, except for Groton, of course, with that wind off the water, the high 77. So our tally for the year for 2021 through today is 17 days 90 or higher. Through the same time last year, 29 days 90 or higher and of course that went on to be the all time record of 39 days. So we are off pace from last year by 12 days. All right so far. All right, here's early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning the stage dry. So we're in for a very nice evening. You can see in Torrington a few clouds in the uh, sky, otherwise a pretty blue sky. And that certainly is the case in Old Saybrook as well. Water. A couple of people are out, out and enjoying the water right now. And currently Hartford is the warm spot at 89. Most of us are in the 80s except for Groton, 76 degrees. The dew point is highest in Groton. That's because you got the wind off the uh, water uh, bringing in some moist air. But elsewhere dew points are in the 50s and low 60s away from the I-95 corridor. So it's very warm, but across most of the state, it's not terribly humid. We got that onshore breeze, although over interior portions of the state, we got a wind that's out of the west. And on the larger view, you can see that it's cool around the water, 76 in Nantucket, 80 in Boston. But off to our west, Scranton is uh, 88 and Harrisburg, 90. Philly is a 90 degrees. So we got the warm air in place across the northeast, and it's going to stay with us through the weekend. But high pressure is in place. So there's no rain anywhere close to Connecticut uh, for the uh, time being. So Futurecast does show that we'll have a clear to partly cloudy sky tonight. Uh, more of the clouds will show up later tonight and tomorrow morning. Tomorrow there's only a slight chance for a shower. I'm not even going to put it in graphically. We'll just give it a, a verbal mention. And then on Sunday, a slight chance for a morning shower and potentially an afternoon shower or thunderstorm in northern Connecticut. But again, most of the time this weekend, it's going to be dry. We'll just have to keep an eye in the sky especially on Sunday afternoon. So lows tonight will be in the uh, 60s. Some patchy fog developing later on tonight. Fog certainly was a problem in parts of the state this morning. Some patchy fog again tomorrow morning and highs tomorrow right up there again between 85 and 90 low and mid 80s along the I-95 corridor with that onshore breeze. So here is your seven day forecast and we're going for 87 on Sunday. Monday a little bit cooler with a high of 86. That's a, a seasonably warm day and partly sunny. And then Tuesday that could be our first day of 90 degrees and we're going for 90 or higher Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with high humidity. There will be daily chances for a shower or a thunderstorm. Of course, of course, a hit or miss, especially during the afternoon and evening. And for the shoreline this weekend, 85 tomorrow and a high of 85 degrees on Sunday. And it looks like we'll be dealing with some upper 80s as we go through the middle and end of next week. All right. Thank you, Bruce.